Hello and welcome aboard Whale Pod to another episode of Fire Emblem Engage. I'm your divine marine mammal whale, and today oh, we have just finished the main battle of Chapter Six and uh, recu and recruited a uh, uh, Unaka. I was gonna say Yukana. She is uh, she's interesting. She's the thief who we uh forcefully conscripted into our army because she lied to us. I know it's really because she stole from us, but it's also because she lied to us. Now, we've already talked to everyone else here off camera. Just make sure you're talking to all your squad mates after the battle before you leave, because a lot of them will give you bond fragments, either 50 or 100 or something like that. Most of them here gave me 50. There are also some animals. There was a bl little black cat over here. A pigeon over here. And a black dog. All the way over here, past these knuckleheads. I mean, we were the supreme knucklehead for that battle. We were the MVP, and, uh... Etie, you still need to change into something more suitable for the battlefield, my girl. You weren't as squishy this time around, but, uh... You can do better, girl. Uh, speaking of uh, not being so squishy anymore... Celine, you got the glory, so you get... the talisman. Making her tankier against magic hits. I've experimented around in three houses with, uh using those items to play to unit strengths or using them to shore up weaknesses, and I feel it works much more effectively to just play to their strengths. So if you get the urge to feed those talismans to Louis, maybe feed them to uh, Chloe or uh, Celine instead. Yes, I am trying to get more used to the actual pronunciations they use in game, even though as a dumb American, Celine and Chloe are easier for me. Well, we're gonna head to the world map, see where to next. 50 bond fragments obtained. I guess there was another one somewhere on the map that I did not see. Or maybe I missed talking to someone. Huh? Is that... Hey! Hmm? You're the girl I met in Flora Milltown. Vale, wasn't it? Oh! What a coincidence finding you here! I'm glad to see you again. You left so abruptly last time, it really caught me off guard. Do you live around here? No, I'm just passing through. Well, looking for someone, really. Who are you looking for? A person I must talk to again no matter what. My sibling. You were separated then. I'm sorry. It's painful to be apart from one's family. I was going to say Vale looks a bit like a VTuber, but then again, so does Alir. Do you have any idea where to look? None. I don't even know what face to look for. We've been apart since I was very young. But they did give me something long ago. This. What a pretty stone. It's my good luck charm. I know that as long as I have this, we'll be reunited someday. I'm sure you will. But don't forget to take care of yourself. Look, your leg's wounded. This kind of thing happens all the time. It looks pretty deep. There. That ought to hold for a while. What's with the chains by her feet? They're quite kind to help a complete stranger like me. You're not a stranger. You saved my life, remember? That makes us friends as far as I'm concerned. And friends help each other. New theory. We are her sibling, but uh, she doesn't recognize us because uh, she only remembers our purely red-haired, emo, black-wearing, double-red-eyed evil phase. Should I not have said that? No, no, I'm just so 
happy to have someone I can call a friend. It's like a dream. I can't recall the last time I was treated with such kindness. What do you mean by that? I'm sorry, but I have to go. Are you sure? Thank you for the bandage. Hope to see you again. There she goes. See you around, Vale. Skirmishes. Enemy soldiers or corrupted foes sometimes go back to areas you have already cleared. You can return to these locations for optional skirmishes. S completing skirmishes can earn you experience and other rewards like gold and items. So that would explain why using the... Uh, why when... Uh, let's show off a bit of a function here. The rankings function... It'll sometimes show units deployed who are not obtained at that chapter. Let's see how far down we have to go for either a unit or an emblem who is not obtained during that chapter. This might not be the best one to use it on, because I don't know how often they'll reuse the castle map here. Ah, uh, yes. Ivy and Hortensia are both, uh... Both names we don't recognize, but they've been, uh, quote, quote, Oh, that's a spoiler. We're gonna, we're gonna back out of there as quickly as possible. Curse you, people, who are further in the game than me. Okay, if we look here in Flora Mill Town by rankings, we'll find, hopefully, some combos that are further up the list that are less spoilery. I guess Ivy is just one of the most used units. Oh, oh Fram and Micaiah was one we didn't have access to before either. Hortensia, Cedal, Rosado, those names have no meaning for me. But Veil, vale, that was an unfortunate spoiler. We'll be back in a little bit. I am going to go to the Somnial because you can do in between each, not just between each chapter, but between like each paralogue, each skirmish, each anything. You can do all sorts of things around the Somnial. The most important thing is the worst way to play Magic the Gathering and going and training your units in the arena. So we're going to go do that. Or I will. You guys won't see that. Okay, so you are going to see a little bit here on the Somnial, because I don't know much about uh, whatever this relay ticket we just got is, so uh, let's see a bit more there. I guess we don't, uh, I guess we don't get to see what it's about, but there's a Bond conversation with Marthy Marth. <laughs> yes, we get it. You say that every time, Marth. Find something original to say. You're just about the strongest person I know, Marth. How can I be more like you? You can accomplish great things if you let your bonds with your friends become your strength. Wow, what an enlightening conversation with Marth. Sword wielded by emblem Marth doubles user's earned experience. I wonder if we can switch that out for the for the rapier at will, because while I do have an armor slayer on Alir now, I might still want the cavalry effectiveness. Before we take a break again, we are actually going to just go ahead and go into reference here and deploy these two bond conversations before I forget again. All right, uh, Sigurd and uh, I visited Alfred. the Divine Dragon lots of times over the years. We're practically family. A persistent presence can form bonds deeper even than blood. They are to be cherished.
Looks like a little less effort was put into these than there were for the supports. Makes sense, uh, they're just spirits trapped inside rings after all. Skill inheritance, uh, as to be, uh, uh as to be, uh, assumed from the uh, level five. For all I had hoped to discuss with you, now that you are before me, I am lost for words. I know what you mean, but we'll have plenty of time to get to know each other. A bond has increased and we get skill inheritance on uh, Celine and Celica now. Now we will actually be back later. Okay, so I decided I'm going to show off at least one round of our standard arena training. You get m less experience if you lose, more experience if you win. It's, uh... The only time I've ever won was the very first time I ever did it. I threw Clan into the arena. Let's throw Vander in here. I did figure out why Vander is leveling up so slowly. It's because Vander is actually the latest entry in a specific archetype of Fire Emblem characters known as either the Jagan or Jagan. I don't know if the J is pronounced as a J or a Y. I've never really heard well, played or watched any Shadow Dragon content, which is where Jagan slash Jagan is from. But Jagan slash Jagan was Marth's advisor, who was an experienced soldier who had high base stats and started out it already promoted into an advanced class. As such, he's a big boon in the early game, but, but, but because he's already a more experienced class and a more experienced soldier, his experience gain is gimped at the start of the game, and it, this appears to hold true with Vander. So let's see if it's gimped in here or not, or if this is the workaround to the... I'm gonna go with Jaegen. This is my chance to shine! Oh, we are clobbering, clan. Or Fram. Might take us through a few rounds, but we don't take okay. any damage from her. I'll win the next one. No, you won't. With age comes wisdom. Okay, that's better than Vander gets on the battlefield, and they have a... I guess they already had a conversation available. I'll show you all three. We're gonna put at least one more, maybe both more into Vander if this one's a loss as well. Will you face me? Fram, 33rd oh, this is in the dragon. bag again. It just chooses at random. It literally just chooses at random. I had no control over okay. whether it would be Fram again or not. Shall we say, with age comes wisdom. <laughs> hey, Vander, you finally made level two, you old dog. And your growth rates are terrible. That is another... That is another benefit of being a, a Jaegen character, is your growth rates are also pretty darn bad. Okay, Jean, go get in that arena and get your butt kicked again, because that's all you're good for in here. Or maybe you'll get I'm, Fram. Um, Jean, should I really be here? It's me, Boucheron. Oh, you get an <gasps> indebted there, uh, Jean. It's been an honor sparring with you. You see, I think the only person that Jean could take on and win here is maybe, maybe, just maybe. Jean could take on a uh, Fram and win, but with how pathetic Jean is, that might even be a little difficult for him. We can do more bond training later. One thing I'm considering doing with there is uh, raising Yukana's affinity with Marth, but uh, that would require something that I think has unlocked around the Somnial to be claimable. Hey, Katz is up there again. I know the official... Uh, like, page on cats in the lore book says he's, like, the guard dog. But he has some feline traits to him as well. And anyone who's who's ever played Tales of Berseria, which is where I know the cats from, at least. The cats are not actually cats. They just have some feline tendencies to them. Hey, cats. We'll be back when we've found something else interesting or moving on.
Uh, we found something else interesting. I wonder what the princey prince has to say for us for the horse manure. I love this item. It's my favorite item. Now we're, uh, now we're cutting away again. Hey guys, we found more. The game faked me out and instead of the horse manure being in its usual spot right by the horsies, we found a spirit gem, which is the real equivalent of, uh, in the, of, um, a three houses, a pretty feather. I thought it was the pretty pebble, you know, pretty pebble, pretty feather, but no, it's the spirit gem. But hey, we have more horse manure to give to all the boys while we're giving all the rocks and stuff to the girls. And we're cutting away again. Just thought I'd show off more manure. Divine One, we discovered this mysterious bracelet in Southern Firene. There appear to be more of them enshrined on the islands off the coast. We should investigate. There's this is indeed this DLC. Around. The presence inside is complicated. This is? But I think I have the invocation. Lead us, emblem of rivals. There she is. After all, it's only ever her axe you get while uh, engaged. Finally, we're free. I am Emblem Edelgard. Pleased to meet you. I am Emblem Dimitri. I guess that makes me Emblem Claude. Hi there. That must have been a crowded bracelet. Sorry, I should introduce myself. I'm the Divine Dragon. You're obviously not from Elios. May I ask what you're doing here? Until recently, we were the guardians of another world. It seems we were moved somehow. I get the feeling you've come to give me some sort of test. No need for that. You were able to summon us. That is enough. And your timing is excellent. We were just growing weary of each other's conversation. Speak for yourself. I thought Dimitri's stories were getting better with every telling. Yes, the sarcastic interruptions kept increasing, too. Coincidence, I'm sure. You three all seem to be... really comfortable with each other. Appearances can be deceiving. Really, Edelgard? She's kidding. You can tell because her face looks exactly the same as when she's serious. <laughs> we have always been in competition. It will be refreshing to join forces. I should explain. We were all students at the Officers' Academy, but we led different houses. That's what you meant by competition. Uh, let me guess. There were uh, three of those houses, huh, Dimitri? Yes. We only truly came together for special events, like the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. A traditional mock battle between the houses, to celebrate one another's strengths. The real celebration was afterward. Our festivities got rather exuberant that night. Dimitri looks pretty straight-laced, but don't let him fool you. Between you and me, he's like a force of destruction at a party. I'm surprised they didn't expel his whole house for those shenanigans. <laughs> Must have been quite a night. You only just met him, so you can't tell if he's joking. Just ignore half of everything he says. Come on, be fair. At least a third of what I say is worth hearing. You do know a third is less than half, right? Let me say it formally. That you're still your same original voice actor? Our power is at your disposal. Please make the most of it. Victory will be ours. Have no fear. We are here to help. And okay, if these two I conventional tactics fail, maybe I'll show you a few tricks. That's all very reassuring. Thank you. I'll do my best to help the three of you work together. Emblem Edelgard switches off with fellow house leaders Dimitri and Claude at random, providing access to a broad range of abilities. The sync skill Gambit changes based on which of the three house leaders is currently active. 
Really, Dimitri has the shield gambit. Uh, Edelgard was the armor class. You do remember that, Intelligent Systems, right? I mean, you made both games. The engage weapon Amir can smash foes and deal bonus damage to dragons. Of course it deals bonus damage to dragons. Gotta put Rhea in her place. The engage skill combat arts provides access to one of three different attacks at a cost of the unit's remaining engage turns. The engage attack houses Unite strikes with an axe, a lance, and bow, increasing the chance of breaking an enemy. It is effective against flyers. Divine Paralogs, you can travel to the Emblem Bracelet's Island from the world map. You can return to the main story at any time you like. Now that we have those jokers on the team, we'll be back. Okay, we are going to raise to bond five with a Marthy Marth. We did already raise uh, a Lear to bond five with uh, the three houses knuckleheads, but I did forget to resume for that. So we'll go into our room and review it from there. I am Marth. I don't think we ever beat the emblems. Maybe sometime down the way there will be an achievement that will be possible once we have uh, the right builds. You speak with a most unusual dialect, Yunaka. Where did you pick it up exactly? Oh, nowhere. I'm one of a kind. Want to give it a try? Say it with me. Zappy! She really is one of a kind. We got all that good stuff that we already have on other characters. I know there are other better emblems for her, but uh, I feel like hers could be better served on someone like, uh, ironically, Fram or uh, Jean. But oh, we're uh, hungering for some ten pulls. So uh, what we're hungering for, we're gonna get. There's uh, the bracelet of rivals, and then the ring of the. Uh, I forget what exactly it was called. The ring of the something. Engage weapons. Ah, you can use certain materials to augment your engage weapons. Crystals increase stats while Banes add effectiveness against unit types. You can earn the materials to augment uh, engage weapons in Tempest Trials or Relay Trials. Each engage weapon has an augmentation capacity. You cannot augment a weapon past its capacity. You can strip away augmentations to try out new effects or increase an engage weapon's capacity by raising the emblem's bond uh, bond level. We're not gonna do that exactly right now because we came here to make some bond rings. Ah, there's nothing that can be made from uh, Edelgard, Dimitri, and Claude, but I guess the three houses characters will be covered by... Uh, Byleth's ring when we eventually get it. And a load of crap. Hey, three black knights. I guess, uh, we are, uh, well, none of us are passing three times. Black knight, black knight, black knight, Tiburn. Nephany, Sanaki, Alincia, Tybarn, another Sanaki, Nesala. Literally all of them C for crap. We're going to do two singles. 
Sanaki B. At least it's a B rank. Ah. Cynegus is how I'm going to pronounce that. Plus 5 HP. That's a chunky boost. That's an S rank. I knew we'd get something good out of you eventually, Micaiah. But just from how badly Edelgard brutalized Alir during the uh, emblem sparring, I'm going to be equipping that bracelet to her and giving a uh, Marthy Marth to Yukana for a little bit and giving a uh, Micaiah probably, yeah, probably to Fram or no to the new kid. Because at least the new kid's not part of the Blunder Twins. Oh yeah, apparently one thing that I wasn't in the know on that I'm now in the know on is apparently Tiki is a Shadow Dragon character and therefore makes sense to come from Marth's ring. I am recording this between the upload of episodes one and two, so, uh, yeah, uh, I have not had time to see you guys telling me probably that, yes, Tiki is a Shadow Dragon character and that I'm just, you know, being stupid. Hey, Claude, I've heard you're called the Master Tactician. I'd love to get some pointers. Wow, so serious right off the bat. Okay, set your sword aside for a bit. We'll walk and talk. So, uh, not the most involved, but definitely, uh... Definitely, uh, uh extra three houses content I wanted to show off. Now, since we're here, let's go ahead and rest and see which pervert wakes us up this time. Does nobody even Am think I to knock? Really allowed in here? This is a really beautiful room. I've got to be careful not to drop this potion. If it's stained, I don't know what I'd. Oh! oh it's Jean. I this potion on you. Um. Good morning. I'm really sorry I woke you up like that. And not as pleasant an awakening as our previous one. Sorry, Jean. I don't care how doofy you might look. It might be endearing to some, not to me. At least it wasn't one of the Blunder Twins. Pretty sure I've got both of them. No, no, I don't have, uh... Don't have... Don't have clan yet. We're actually going to do the skirmish this episode, so, uh, in order to not take away from the hype of awakening our three houses, brethren, we'll be back once we're ready to leave the Somnial. We might even be already departed from the Somnial. Just, uh, I just want to show off Amir's stats here pretty, uh, uh pretty quick like, uh, plus 25 crit, pretty abysmal hit, but... Hot dang, that fizz attack. Oh, ho, ho. Axe of Emblem Edelgard smashes foes, cannot follow up or strike first if initiating combat. Effective against dragons, so you always have to be able to tank the hit. But, whoo! The base damage was... 71. No, 73, and she crit me for 219. It was a nuts. I can't wait to wreck some crap with this. Now we'll be leaving the Somnial, or having left the Somnial at the next cut back in. For sure, guaranteed. Well, we're back again, and the skirmish is higher level than I thought it would be, so we're prob probably going to make it its own episode. 
but we do have some stuff to uh, finish out the episode on. No more bonds to do. We do have some more supports. Fram! Huh? Why are you loafing about? I told you to sort through the offerings. Oops! I completely forgot. Grant me the patience. How do you manage to bungle even the smallest task? This is exactly why I fear for your future. I meant to do it, honest. It just kind of slipped my mind. You know I will not credit that excuse. Forgetting is the same as doing nothing at all. Imagine how disappointed your parents would be if they found out. <sighs> Fram, I have high expectations for you and your brother. You are my successors, after all. For my peace of mind, and to honor the mother and father who left you in my care, do better. Yes, sir. Well, that answers the question of, is Vander the Blunder Twins' parents? No, uh, well, father, no, he is not. You are not the father. This is the last time I let you down, Vander. Promise. Very good. Our last remaining supports are between Whale and Etie and Whale and Yunaka for the sea supports. Impressive work out there today, Yunaka. Whoa, what? I got praise from the Divine One? Zappy! I'm thrilled, beyond thrilled. I'm serious. Skills like yours are in high demand. You must have been a mercenary or something. Right, um... Mercenary, yeah, you could tell. I mean, obviously I've murked a time or two, no big deal. I thought so. With strength like yours, you must be pretty well known too. Uh, sure, I mean, yep, people, uh, people know me. I'll bet some of our allies are well acquainted with your reputation already. I'll have to ask around. There must be stories. Uh, no, I mean, uh, could I ask you to maybe not do that what why <sighs> because i lied again i've never been a mercenary you said it and it sounded nice so i went with it i'm sorry i'm confused you asked me about my past i panicked and just like always i hid behind a lie i'm truly sorry divine one i should not have deceived you you were only trying to praise me and i just had to go and ruin it I'll take my leave. Yunaka? Alright, that was a good C support. <laughs> huh? What's up? You're looking at me kind of weird. Sorry. I didn't mean any offense. I just couldn't help it. Is there something wrong with how I look? Oh, no! Nothing like that. Then tell me why you're laughing already. Uh, <laughs> well, you know how you're always so confident? Huh? I was thinking about how plain it is on your face. There's confidence all over you. It's kind of inspiring to look at. Which is why you were staring. <sighs> Forgive me, Etier. If it bothers you, I'll stop. Nah, I don't mind. I'm actually a little honored to help out the Divine One. If staring at me lifts your mood, go ahead and stare all you want. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, it's a little embarrassing, but a quick jog will help get my mind off it. See you around, Divine One. Not bad as far as C's go. I mean, there definitely was a little comedic value with the... Uh... Chloe is there with her being a sleeper creeper. But, uh, we're going to leave off right there and uh, try and take out this skirmish at the tea field village next time. I do thank you all for watching this episode of Fire Emblem Engage. And as always, uh, do feel free to like the video and sub to the channel if you have not done so already. And as always, comments are welcome down below.
Now with that said and done, I hope you all are having fantastic days, Whale Pod. Make sure to stay cool, stay classy, and most importantly, uh, properly prepare before taking on the skirmishes slightly above your weight class. But until next time, this is Commander Whale. No, not Commander Whale, not even Captain Whale. This is not Mass Effect, this is not anything else. This is Fire Emblem, so this is a Divine Marine Mammal Whale signing off.